What's up YouTube, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys the update for Flickr. Now this wasn't just a bug, a little minor bug update, this was actually a big update it's going to give you a whole lot more features. So if you haven't ever used Flickr before, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of actually what it does and what it is and then I'm going to show you what the update actually did. So you can see here as you open it up you have this little panel down here with different tabs. In the first tab you're going to see that you have contacts here so you see all of your contacts photos if you've added contacts as well as if you join groups you just tap that and you're gonna be able to see all of the pictures from that group now if we go to the second tab right here you can see that these are all our nearby photos as you can see up here so I've put my location as New York so this is all photos that have been uploaded from that surrounding area and if you tap on interesting these are just going to be some interesting photos that are given to you by Flickr and if we skip the camera app and we'll go into our profile here you can see this is where all of your pictures that you've uploaded are going to be as well as if you have sets then you can tap on that check out your sets as well as the groups you've joined and the pictures that you favorited photos of yourself and your contacts and if we tap on activity then this is just going to give you a list of activity that you've done so if we jump to the very last tab over here you can see that this is just your more section so you have your search so you can search for photos peoples and groups as well as your upload queue right here and find friends you can send feedback some help or about now let's get into the meat and potatoes of this update now if we go into the camera application here you can see you have this little button right here this is going to be all of your filters so if you tap on that you can actually get a preview of the filters before you even take the picture so if I just tap on graphite here you'll see that it automatically changes the filter for this camera so you can go to Super Fade, Dublin, Noir, Antique, Bleached. I mean, there's a bunch of different filters here, and it's really nice. You can see exactly what the picture is going to look like before you even take it. So I'll also remind you that this is actually a free application, and this is some of the features that you're going to get in a paid application. So definitely worth checking out. So if we choose a uh, filter here, we're just going to leave it as original. So we'll tap this, and it's going to go away and then you can actually put a grid on your camera if you want to do that so if we just swipe over you see there's a grid there's another one they have a bunch of different grids depending on what you want what kind of picture you're taking and you can see those are the grids also if you just tap like that it's going to white balance just like that so let's go ahead and let's take a picture let's use a different filter we'll use uh, let's go with color vibe we'll go with that one tap that and then we will take a picture and now you're going to be able to use all of these new features down here so you have the magic wand right here that's automatically going to auto correct whatever it thinks is going to look better but let's not use that for now let's use the crop you have the option to touch to zoom and pan so if you touch this make that go away you can zoom and you can zoom in zoom out and you can zoom, you can pan just like that. So if we tap down here, this is actually your aspect ratio. So you have natural, your four by three, your one by one, 16 by nine, and three by two, depending on what type of picture you're taking and what you're trying to get in the picture or what you're trying to make it fit. Now, if we tap on this, this is going to be able to let you rotate your picture just like that. You just spin the dial right there and sorry about the alien blue, I have my notifications set up to where if I swipe my finger across the bottom it'll pop up so you might see that some more throughout the video. But you can see here that you can rotate and it'll zoom just like that with this dial. So let's go ahead and put it back on zero right there and we're going to hit the crop button again to get our options back and this button right here is actually going to flip the picture so if we tap it it'll rotate it counterclockwise just like that at 90 degree angles if you want a mirror image you would just tap this and it's going to mirror the image if you want to flip it upside down just like that so let's X out of that and here are your filters here like I was showing you earlier so you can tap on this and put whatever you want so let's just do a let's do a Lomo right there now if we tap to make this go away you can actually zoom or it's not zooming but it's swiping just like that and this actually will change 
what the filter looks like. So just rotate your fingers just like this in a circular motion. I couldn't find any type of uh, information on this other than just actually figuring it out myself. So I'm not sure exactly what it does other than actually just change up the filters a little bit so it gives you a different look. So if we tap on this, we'll go over into the other options we have here. So you have brightness that you can tap on and swipe up and down just like that. We'll put that back to where it was and you have your contrast right here. This is going to be your saturation, your exposure, and your white balance right here. So we're going to X out of that and we'll go over to our red, green, and blue sliders here. So you can change the amount of red, green, and blue in your photos there. And here are your levels. So if you have different levels, you can swipe this over and it's going to give you a little more different look. And you can just tap on these colors right here to see specifically where those colors are. Now, if we go ahead and hit back to undo, make it back to how it was, and here is your sharpen. So you can sharpen up your image just by swiping your finger like that. And once you're done, just hit next. And then you can add a title, a description, you can set the privacy level, you can share it on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, or email it. You can add a venue. You even have advanced options right here. If we tap on that, you can add it to a set, put it in a group, a person, tag, safety level of photos, and location privacy. So let me know what you guys think about this new update for Flickr. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, this is Cody with iPhonehacks.com.